offer. Here in Nebraska, there is a lawmaker who has been pushing for that for years. Reporter Andrea Braswell is live with the effort in our state, and she's live with that story. Andrea. Yes, and this is will be his second time actually pushing for this bill. And he says that after Monday's tragedy, it's just he's going to use this time to bring more awareness to the topic. So anything that we can do to, pre, uh, to prevent the loss of life, I think also to, to help uh, keep people safe, uh, I think those are things that we ought to do. State Senator Robert Hickelman says he's been passionate about this topic for a long time and says the tragedy that happened in Chattanooga, Tennessee, reinforces it. I always tell everybody buses are the safest way for kids to get to school, but I think we can even make them safer if we add this, uh, the, the restraint systems. But some parents are at odds about the types of stress seatbelts on a bus could potentially have on the driver. He has no authority over the kids. He has limited authority of well, ability to walk up and down the aisles, finding out if the kids are actually buckled up or not. While other parents say adding buses with seatbelts is a definite plus. I have a grandson who rides a school bus and not only does it need to keep him sitting in his seat safely, but they're apt to get up and walk around, which isn't safe either. Senator Hilkelman says it could be a 7 to 10 percent cost to get new buses equipped with seatbelts, which may be why the bill has failed to pass four times. It's another cost to the school districts, and I'm sensitive of that, but I, but I also think we're talking about the safety of children. But he says he's hopeful within the next 10 to 15 years, every child will be strapped in a seatbelt while riding to and from school. If we want to do it, we'll find the funding that will be available for it. The senator plans to present this bill in front of the legislation again next year. I'm live on 54th and L, Andrea Braswell, KMTV Action 3.